Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs is quite the film. Launching a microwave radiation nanomutation water food converter up to the high troposphere is a huge feat, especially when you manage to unwittingly succeed in simultaneously saving your city and destroying it. But according to real-life meteorology and scientific mutations, could you create your own Flittismus de Fur and make it rain piping hot pepper pie in a pink perishable pot? So basically, nanomutation is what's going on here. He has created a microwave of sorts that alters the molecules of the water into any kind of food. What normal microwave ovens do is they send microwave waves at a certain frequency through the food, and this vibrates all of the water molecules in the food, radiationally cooking it on the atomic level inside out. Flint's machine, however, is radiating just H2O, and this would bring it to a free mutation state, allowing him to alter its atomic code with his literal airborne microwave. People microwave water every day, but not to the extent Flint does. His machine does more and requires a whole power station to activate it. My guess is that the overloading of radiation and obscenely high or low frequency sends the water into a state where the machine can take the genetic code of a cheeseburger and add or remove pieces of the water's molecular code to result in a solid food. Okay, so we know it's difficult to scientifically do this, but it can be done. So what about the meteorology aspect? Well, we see clouds shaped like the food as the flittus mystifer has formed them. So clouds form in the shape of food. But that's not too far-fetched. Normal clouds can take on many different shapes. But clouds are made of ice crystals. This means that the clouds are made of water crystals formed into food. Flint's climate frequently gets rain, and the flittus mystifer can suck it all in easily. So basically, are you surprised? This is possible. You just need to create a very, very high-powered airborne microwave that can shoot with excellent frequency, and then the water will go through it and become recoded into any kind of food. Sorry for the really short theory, but I'm on a very tight schedule. Now click in the top right corner to vote for what theory you'd like to see next. Until next time, I'm The Theorizer.